Let's see how we can create a Playwright project using Python. The first step is to download and install Python. To verify the installation, open a common prompt and type in python dash dash version. Next, we need an ID or a code editor. I will go with VS Code. If you're familiar with VS Code, you know that we need to install some extensions. In this case, we will install Python extension for VS Code. Now we are ready to install the required packages and we'll be using pip, which is the package installer for Python. If you have Python version 3.4 or later, pip is already installed. If not, I encourage you to install the latest Python version. Let's check the installation, open common prompt and type in pip space dash capital V. Next, let's go to the Python package index page and we have few options. The first one is to install the Playwright package, as you can see here. Or another option is to install the PyTest Playwright wrapper, which uses both Playwright and PyTest and comes with built-in fixtures out of the box. And Playwright is recommending to use this plugin to write end-to-end -end tests. In a common prompt, paste or type in pip install pytest dash playwright. We can also check the installation like this. Playwright can run tests on Chromium, WebKit and Firefox browsers. And now we are ready to install those. Let's type in playwright space install. And that's it. Make sure in environment variables you have set the path for the Python scripts. Back in VS Code, it's time to create the folder structure and to implement the first test. For example, let's create a folder called Playwright and inside it a folder called Tests. From File, select Open Folder and open the Playwright folder we have just created. Under the test folder, create an empty file called init.py and the module which will contain the test called test underscore playwright.py. On the first line, we import the things we need. In this case, from playwright.sync API package, import page and expect. And we will see a bit later why we need those. Let's define a function that starts with the test keyword, just like here. And this function has a page parameter, use page dot go to function and pass the page URL. I'll be using this sample web page, which by the way, you can find it on my GitHub repo. Playwright includes test assertions in the form of expect function. Let's use this function to pass the page as a parameter and in this case we want to check the page title. So select to have title function. Here we can pass either the title or a regular expression. In this case I will send the exact title. That's it. No need to close the browser because once the test has finished the browser will automatically be closed. And now we are ready to give it a run. Make sure you save this and in terminal you are positioned under the test folder and type in pytest followed by the module name. By default the tests are running in headless mode. If you want to change this add dash dash headed in the running command syntax. This is running too fast. Let's add a temporary short wait before the validation so we can see what's happening. And as you can see now we have the confirmation that the test is running as expected. As an alternative, if you want to run the test from VS Code and not from the terminal, you can install Python Test Explorer extension. Then go to the testing tab. And first time when we do this, we have to configure the Python tests. Here select PyTest Framework and the folder containing the tests. Now we can run or debug the test directly from VS Code as we can see here. And that would be all for now. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.